don't know if it's the one that's laying in the water there. Maybe there's already one closer. Let's find out. Here it is. We made it on this ferry. As you can see, everybody has to back up. Unfortunately, I didn't have to back up with the bike. I just had to back up and turn around on the boat. So the bike is right there. That's where we came from. So unfortunately, I couldn't park in a covered area because the boat is pretty full already and I'm here last. And that might be, well, I just have to watch my helmet and all that stuff because you can see these clouds over there, they're getting pretty dark. And the rain forecast has rain as well, but um, what can you do? Another bus backing up on the boat. The ferry is gonna be an hour and a bit. And we're going in that direction to those clouds. gas station right on time she can probably hear and see it is raining very hard the direction we're going is very gray and uh, I'm not alone as you also can also can see there's a lot of other bikes that are just looking some protection from the rain they just started a minute ago and that's where we came from so just trying to stay dry. Wow, just driving away in Belém and I almost got taken out by a massive bamboo stick that some guy was trying to carry across the street. That was a close one. to the ferry's office 
that is the one that we're going to be on for more than a day, basically. So, um, just checking in now. So I'm here with Anna, and Anna has checked me in on the Anna Marquez, which is right behind there. That's your number, Anna Marquez. Anna. Ah, okay. All right, let's go. Thank you, Anna. So there is the Anna Marquez that we are going to get on very soon. Uh, the bike is here. I have no idea exactly what the plan is. We're just going to stay close enough so that when they need me to do something with the bike, they can uh, call me or find me anyway. And then uh, off we go. I'm sorry for the noise. Construction going on. This is my status. Um, the Ana Marquez. I'm waiting to board. It leaves in an hour or something. That's where we just drove on. That's where the bike is. And uh, we're just unpacking and gonna find uh, my room. Only thing that's on this boat otherwise is uh, one car. I didn't really expect that. It is what it is. I guess that ferry is either on a construction or deconstruction. So I splurged and got a suite on this boat. I could have gotten a hammock as well, but I just have too much stuff and a hot motorbike here, so it cost a little bit more, but this is what the hammock department looks like. Well, actually, first I'll show you my room. This is my room with a couple of bunks, and I'm very pleased, an air conditioner and a bathroom with a shower. And then we walk out this is basically the department that has hammocks everywhere. So I think all these people brought their own hammock as well. Of course I don't have a hammock, so that wouldn't have worked out anyway. So there's my justification for a little bit of luxury. Yeah. Okay, so why are we on a ferry? Well, we are in the northeastern town of Belém, in the northeastern part of Brazil. And we want to go to Macapá. Macapá can only be reached by ferry uh, from Brazil. It's only connected by road to French Guiana. And uh, so we're going to Macapá. We're going to be on this ferry for 28 hours. And uh, yeah, it's a long time. And uh, then we'll be arriving in Macapá from where we can drive to French Guiana. So that is the plan. All right, and that is the town of uh, Belém. Well, city, I would say. It's quite big, actually. And uh, about to take this thing, ramp in, and we're taking off for 24 to 28 hours on this boat. And I just found a very interesting and important sign. <laughs> the bar. Let's find the bar. I can already tell, and we're just docked still, that all these people here will have natural air conditioning because there's a nice breeze going through here. So they don't even really need the real thing. But I'm so pleased that I have a little room here. So here's the top view from all the ferries they have here. A lot of them seem under construction or out of commission. And this is the one I'm on, obviously. I don't think I'm gonna spend too much time here because I'll get burnt way too quickly. And I'm not even sure exactly where we're going. Other than Macapa. So I just walked into the loading deck. deck. Maybe you can hear this. Yeah, let's have a look. See all these boxes? They just have little chicks in them. Many of them. It's all of them are full. Just like that, we are on our way 
to Macapá, which is not reachable by road uh, in Brazil, only from French Guiana. So we're going to be on this boat for a while, more than a day. I have no idea what the route is, but as long as we get there, I don't really care. Everything is tied up, and of course, somebody... Ah, see, okay. Okay, not allowed to go there. Okay, solamente un video de... Solamente mi moto. Un, un video. Okay, okay, okay. So there is the motorbike, which is tied up properly. Quick zoom in. There it is. And we are leaving the harbor. We're just doing a quick turnaround. And this is the dock that we were just at. There goes the skyline of Belém. I thought it was kind of a small place, but obviously it's actually quite a decent city. And this is the direction we are going. So we're having lunch time right next to the engine room. I'll show you. So this is my lunch here. Some meat with uh, rice and beans. And here's the restaurant. That's it for the whole boat. I managed to escape from the music that just keeps on blasting on uh, the back of the boat where the bar is, where you buy bebidas, drinks, and let me show you how narrow this channel is that we're going through with this fairly decent sized ferry. Here is the uh, roof deck patio on the ferry. You can see how narrow this passway is. People live here. This is it. And there we have our Brazilian flag.
Yay, we found another fortress. This time in Macapa. And it is right behind me. You can see some uh, cannons over my shoulder. I'll uh, show you a little bit more. It's defending it's just uh, literally underwater so whoever would try to come this way and it's quite remote here whoever would come this way would be shot away by a bunch of cannons hey look at this guy look at that guy walking beside me ah. so this is the center area with all the support buildings it's quite big you can actually in the middle well I was actually too late they already closed but uh, the lady was really friendly and let me look around for about five minutes and uh, yeah so this used to be just the entry these are the big ass walls you had to climb over if you wanted to breach them so that was the entry officially this is what the lampposts are like here in Macapa, Brazil. It's uh, like a stroboscope. <laughs> Well, it might not look too imposing, but that building thing up there is the equator. So this time I'm actually making it because the last time I was in Ecuador and I, by the time I realized I crossed the equator, I was already hundred kilometers down the road. So this time I wanted to hit it. We're in Macapá in Brazil, which calls itself the capital of the middle of the world. And uh, fun fact, this place is only reachable by road from French Guiana, not actually from the, the rest of the mainland of uh, Brazil, even though this is mainland, but I had to be on a ferry for 28 hours to, uh, <laughs> to get here. Anyway, off we go. Now we're heading towards the border with French Guiana. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 